We suck, we blow, a posse of oral fixators. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're bad. <laughs> they can isolate us, but they'll never separate us. Let them outlaw smoking. Then they'll just have to deal with a whole bunch of smoking outlaws. <laughs> Who's with me? All right. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> Hello, oh my God. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Lori called me last night. Really? What did she say? What? <laughs> That's squeaking. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> what did Lori say when you talked to her? next year. Oh, isn't that nice? Yes. Um, could you walk over there and get me that pencil? But you have one right on your desk. I know, but I need that one. Okay. I got you a birthday card. Hmm. Happy birthday. You look like a million dollars. Oh. Old and wrinkled. <laughs> what kind of a cruel hoax is this? Uh, it's a Hallmark card. A Hallmark of degradation. <laughs> the first line lulled me into a false sense of security. And the second line ripped out my heart and slapped me across the face with it, awakening me to harsh reality. It's an old joke. For an old fool. Well, I want no part of it. I'm leaving, while I still have my dignity. I always came by to see how you're feeling. Oh, well, I'm feeling a lot better. Thanks. Good. I'm really sorry I gave you the flu. Oh, no, oh, no don't worry about it, because anytime you want to give me anything, you just let me know. Because if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it all over again. So, is there a chance we could do it all over again? You could go to my house. Great. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Oh, this is Dina. She's the one that got us sick. Destroy the incubator! <laughs> Thank you so much. We're about to play APC. APC? Astrophysics charades. <laughs> okay, you waited long enough. Have a Wow, what a room full of weirdos. <laughs> so you two together? Okay, okay, ready. Magazine! Journal! Theory! 24 words. First word. First word. There's a small girl. Second word. The first word is the second word. Second word. Second word. Second word. The number two. Sky. 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 Big giant head. Outer space. Hello. Alien. I'm an alien. No. Shoot a man. 
revolution. Uh, inertia. Oh, oh, two celestial bodies of equal mass sharing a single gravitational field will exhibit identical rotational properties for as long as their inertial integrity maintains. <laughs> for quantum pictionary man can't live with them <laughs> good night mary Your teachers seem to think I'm not acting enough like a father to you. You're not my father. Well, that's true, but I, I, I want to try to act like one. Fine. What do fathers and sons do together? Oh, uh, they do this. <laughs> yes, I've seen that. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. We're roughhousing. Son. This is taking a wrong turn somewhere. I've got a better idea. We can do what the guy downstairs does with his son. They watch TV for 18 hours straight. Yes. It's the classic male bonding ritual. Oh, look. Monday Night Football. Ah! Ah! What is it? <laughs> Hasn't tonight been great? Just us boys drinking beer, yelling like idiots, emitting various gases. <laughs> oh, oh, look. They're doing that thing again. Oh, here it comes. Look out. Oh, here it is. Economical but no less prestigious Sunni New Pulse. Are you going somewhere with this, Dick? Then he watches the Pendleton tape and sees me. My charm, charisma, and hypnotic eyes draw him in like a slug to beer. You know, we're, we're entitled to go absolutely anywhere and do anything, mainly because we don't know there's anything wrong with what we're doing. Uh, we can be dirtier. We can be more outrageous, we can be politically incorrect, we can be incorrect in every conceivable way. And you know, we didn't know, don't blame us, we didn't know we're aliens. It's just a gigantic uh, um, sanction. It's a, it's, a, it's a permit that we have that nobody else has. Shouldn't have done that, plaque monster. Fluoride man's gonna open a can of whoop ass on you now. <laughs> I warned you. I think the thing that Third Rock does best as opposed to other sitcoms is uh it's unabashedly goofy it, i think it's i think it's i think it knows it's a sitcom and i think it's not afraid to be that but all the while sort of winking at the fact that it's a sitcom and i love that where are you taking me you're taking me to the truth room actually i need to go to the bathroom but this is scary but it's just a premise that allowed us to do things. I remember early on being aware of that when I sat in the squash court dressing room. And there's a moment where the fellow, seen from behind, he was drying himself with his towel. I was sitting next to him looking around the locker room, and I looked right at his cock, and he said, Can I help you? And I said, No, thanks, just looking. And... You know, no other show allows one man to look right at another's cock and say, no thanks, just looking. I didn't know there was anything wrong with looking at a man's cock in a dressing room. I'm an alien. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> I just spruced the place up a bit. A bit? Sally, you spruced the crap out of me. <laughs> well, it's just that ever since you gave me a key, I've wanted to get you nice things, and what with your Optima card just lying around, how can I not? Third Rock, I think, um, I don't think that there's a show on television that I've personally seen in the last 10 years that has 
the physical comedy that we do. And I don't think there are, I, all arrogance aside, honestly, I don't think there are for, you know, in terms of just the alien part of it, oh, there's Wayne and, oh, it's impossible. But a cast that that is as brave physically as we are. Hey, lady, we only let children climb in the ball pit. <laughs> that is so sick. <laughs>